this problem. A student asked me to work this out. This is checkpoint 2.25. And by the way, in the back of the book, and I do air quotes book, it's the ebook. Uh, in if you get into the book and you go to the table of contents on the left side, if you scroll to the bottom, it'll give you a link to the answers of all the checkpoints so you can get these answers. If you're ever working this out on your own, you're not sure. But I'm happy to do this problem for a student and if, if, because these are, are, are not worked out for you. So it says, suppose it takes a force of eight pounds. Yeah, let me get to my colors. So we're like eight pounds. To stretch a spring six, six inches from the equilibrium position, how much work is done stretch the spring one foot. So notice though this is one this is in feet here and this is in inches here. So those are different types of units. So we're going to, have to do some kind of conversion towards the end. It's not a big deal, but just be aware of that. So we start off with the force function f of x equals k times x. So the force pounds is a force. So eight equals uh, k times 6. Now, what I could have done, I could have said uh, half, half a foot instead of 6 inches because that's in feet, but I left it like this and I uh, divide both sides by 6. So k equals 4 thirds. So f of x is going to be 4 thirds x. Now, we're talking about work and so that's why I brought this next one in here that work function is going to be the integral of the force function over the, the time the force is being applied. So from A to B. Now we're talking, it says how much work is done to stretch the spring one foot. And so they mean to stretch it from zero to one foot. They didn't say from six inches to one foot. So we have to go with that they're talking about zero. But if it was six inches to one foot, we do six to 12. Or if we had to solve it for feet, we do zero to one half. But in this case, we're just going to go with integral from zero to 12, because 12 is one foot in, in terms of inches, because this was put together in terms of inches. Four thirds x dx. So that's four thirds x cubed, or sorry, x squared over two. And we're going to evaluate that from zero to 12. And course we can produce this 2 and the 4 and we end up with this 2 thirds times what 12 squared minus 0 squared so 2 thirds times 144 and that's going to be 96 so what this answer means this is let's scroll this up a little bit this is 96 inch pounds but if you look up that answer in the back it's in terms of foot pounds we multiply by one foot over 12 inches and that does our dimensional analysis lets us cancel the inches and we end up with 96 divided by 12 is 8 foot pounds so oh, forgot to change colors back and there's our answer i hope that helps